wondered how the human ear works? If you have, then you're in luck, because today I will be talking about the human ear. The ear is an organ of the body that is used for hearing the mouths. It is connected to the brain by the auditory nerve and is composed of three divisions. The middle ear, the external ear, and the inner ear. The greater part of which is enclosed within the temporal bone. Hi, my name is Bailey Johnson from Northwest Elementary School, and today I will be talking about the human ear. The ear, first I would like to talk to you about the middle ear. The ear is looked upon as a miniature receiver, amplifier, and signal processing system. The structure of the outer ear catches sound waves as they move into the external auditory canal. The sound waves then hit the eardrum and the pressure of the air causes the drum to vibrate back and forth. When the eardrum vibrates, its neighbor the malus then vibrates too. The, vi the vibrations are then transmitted from the malus to the incus and then to the stoops. Together, the three bones increase the pressure which in turn pushes the membrane of the oval window in and out. This movement sets up fluid pressure waves in the purlip of the cochlea. Bulging of the oval window then pushes on the purlip of the scalp vestibula. From here, the pressure waves are transmitted from the scalp vestibula to the scalp tympani, and then eventually finds its way to the round window. This causes the round window to bulge outward into the middle ear. The scalp vestibula and scalp tympani walls are now formed with the pressure waves and the vestibular membrane is also pushed back and forth, creating pressure waves in the endolem inside the cochlear <coughs> duct. These waves then cause the membrane to vibrate, which in turn cause hair cells of the spiral organ to move against the tactile membrane. The bending of the stereocilla produces receptor potentials that in the end lead to the generation of nerve impulses. The external, or outer ear, comprises of the arcal orpina, which is the fleshy part of the outer ear. It is cup-shaped and collects and amplifies sound waves, which then passes along the ear canal to the eardrum or tympic membrane. The pina is the only visible part of the ear that... <coughs> pina is the only visible part of the ear with its special helical shape. It is the first part of the ear that reacts with sound. The function of the pina is to act as a kind of funnel which assists in directing the sound further into the ear. Without this funnel, the sound waves would take a more direct route into the auditory canal. This will be both difficult and wasteful, as much of the sound will be lost, making it harder to hear and understand the sound. What is the inner ear? The inner ear is the innermost part of the ear which consists of the cochlea, the balance mechanism, the vestibular, and the auditory nerve. Once the vibrations of the eardrum have been transmitted to the oval window, the sound waves journey, continue their journey into the inner <coughs> ear. The inner ear is a maze of tubes and passages, referred to as the labyrinth. In the labyrinth can be found the vestibular and the cochlea. In the cochlea, sound waves are trans, are trans formed into electrical impulses, which are sent to the brain. The brain then translates the impulses into sounds that we know and understand. Today I have told you about the external ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. Do you want to know an interesting fact? Did you know your ears never stop hearing even while you're asleep? You can never turn off your ears. However, even though you're asleep, the brain is a process of sounds in the same way it does when you're awake. Isn't it amazing how the human ear works? I think so, and I hope you do too. Thank you.